all this is rohit today i am going to cover uh, something about the spinach or palak so this spinach that i am going to harvest is around uh, around 45 to 50 days old so uh, as i had shown earlier so this was the same one and both of them have been planted at the same day but because of some issues in the soil uh, in this particular container uh, the spinach didn't grow over here uh, so this uh, spinach i have planted in a plastic pipe if you can see this is a plastic pipe uh, around 4 uh, to 5 inch uh, in diameter and i have drilled small holes into it uh, around 3 uh, inches each and uh, then filled it with the potting mix which i have prepared using the coco peat as well as the compost that i have created at home uh, so some of the leaves are big enough to be harvested so it is no need to just pluck the complete plant out of the soil we can just cut the needed leaves and use them for daily vegetables so along with this i have also planted spinach in various other containers wherever there is some uh, portion available so over here as well there is some spinach along with some beetroot growing so i'll be also harvesting these leaves so this over here i have a complete bed which is uh, i have planted uh, spinach uh so over here there are a lot of spinach but some of the leaves if as you can see are been damaged by the snails so for last one week i have been just uh, hand picking all the snails every night since the snails comes out uh, at night itself and are hiding somewhere in the garden for the rest of the day so uh, spinach i have also planted in Uh, another container over here as you can see this is actually a fruit plant it is of chikku as well as uh, pomegranate or uh, we call it dalim in maharashtra so uh, i have drilled out uh, so this is a plastic container as you can see it is a plastic container um, that we can uh, get in hardware market uh, so i have brought bought this for around 800 to 1000 rupees and then cut it into two so these this is the first and this is the second part and just uh, then filled it with the potting mix so over here uh, i have just built these around 2 inch round holes all around and then planted the various plants into this so uh over here you can see i have planted spinach as well so actually uh, i have been uh, experimenting with the size of the pots that i have been using for growing spinach so this has a depth of around 4 to 5 inches same over here maybe it is a bit deeper from beneath so and this would be safe 6 inches in depth and around 2 feet in length and this one uh, this is a cement bed that i have created it is around 2 bricks that is around 12 inches but it is filled only until 1 brick so around 6 inches in depth so over here as well the spinach is growing quite well but now i have tried in a deeper pot over here that i just explained so it would be around 2 feet in height so i uh, usually uh, start a uh, spinach farming by using uh, seeds which i bought from the local uh, garden shop so this is one of the local brands that we get so it is around 20 rupees and uh, this one it is maybe 15 rupees so a lot of seeds which we can use for few months as well so 
so it is quite cheap uh, for planting I have uh, just uh, put these seeds around one or two mm inside the soil over here and then they grow without uh, without any transplanting so I have not found any need to transplant them, them unless I just plant more than <coughs> two seeds per hole over here so if you just plant one or two seeds and then just leave them over there for one or two months then they'll grow to a considerable size uh, without a need to transplant only thing is you should be having a good amount of cocoa peat or any uh, leaves inside your soil so that uh, the roots are able to grow quite easily inside uh, so uh, also in the summer uh, it has been observed that uh, um, spinach does not require a heavy uh, dose of water so a moderate dose of water uh, is okay and so it is quite easy to grow on rooftop gardens so that is why I have just planted them a lot here and there uh, so now I'll be just uh, harvesting these leaves and I'll show you once I have harvested them. So I'll be just uh, selecting the big size leaves only and then just cut uh, over here so that the remaining plant would survive and grow for the leaves. Okay, so I have uh, just plugged up uh, enough leaves for today's meal. So if you can see, some of the leaves are a bit damaged over here. But it is okay, it is just uh, been damaged by some snails last night. But it is just an indication that there is no poison on these leaves. So at least I, have, I don't waste these particular leaves. Uh, I'll be using them and I have been using them for quite few years uh, I and have not uh, faced any problems but it is up to an individual to decide whether or not to use these particular leaves for their meal uh, but at least that is a good indication that there is no poison being used in uh, growing these uh, spinach so at least there was no issue and that I faced by using these leaves over here if you can see that I have just plugged few of the leaves uh, from different plants and still they look the same as it was earlier so they will be growing more leaves if you can see there are still new leaves coming over here sprouting over here so they will grow in few weeks so it is a bit uh, time consuming for the first time for the plant size to grow this big but once the roots are grown pretty well then uh, you can just keep on plucking these leaves and uh, you can uh, pluck it for four five or more than that times uh, without damaging the plant so every two weeks i think i can just get same amount of vegetable Sometimes the spinach grows a bit more and uh, it grows shoots for growing uh, seeds. So I have kept this particular plant for that purpose. So these are the uh, seeds that have grown up over here and they will just grow into seeds after say few months when it dries out. So I will be just uh, uh, reusing these seeds for my next plantation of uh, spinach so I have also plucked some of the leaves from over the, uh, these plants but still there are not many leaves that I can pluck maybe in coming week so this is the way that I have been doing the spinach uh, small farming I would say in my rooftop garden. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.